What's up everybody, my name is Ray. Today we're taking a walk through this little path in the woods to get to some really cool and unique statues. Now this is known as the Lehigh Millennium Arch and Folk Art Enclave. I think I said that right. Now this is part of the Lehigh University campus and this was built by students here, I believe in the year 1999, as a project to demonstrate folk art. Um, it's really cool. We're gonna go take a look at them, so come with me. And so right here, by where I parked my car, we have our first example of the artwork we're gonna see here. And this is a stone, it's not a natural stone, it's concrete poured over mesh. But it's all embedded with all these different colored stones and looks like pieces of pottery and glass and stuff. Pretty cool. And as we make our way down the path, we come to this really lovely little fairy tale bridge right over this creek. How nice is this? Well, it's been a while since I've been out for a hike. Not really gonna be a proper hike today, but the weather's finally nice and I can get back into it and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can take you on some hikes with me coming for going forward in the near future. So be excited for that. I know I am. And just by the side of this little creek here, it looks like we got some stone slabs or concrete slabs with some art painted on it. It looks like we got a peace sign and some hearts. That's pretty cool. Okay, and so up ahead in this clearing, I think we've arrived at this little sculpture garden. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Looks like we got some, some rebar with some Coke bottles on top of it. That's pretty cool. Kind of uh, metal trees here, almost. Looks like they're kind of put together with some cement and stone mortar. Looks like we got some uh, some aluminum can bottoms attached to this little trellis here. That's pretty neat. Oh, and just look at these. Just look at how cool these are with the way they, they shape the rebars to make them look almost like trees. Got a big old 40 ounce bottle here. I mean, this is a college campus after all. And just look at these. These are really cool. And then right here, we have what this place is named after, the Millennium Arch is what I believe this is called. And this is just incredible. I mean, just look at this thing. Look at how much detail is in this. Let's get a close look at this. Those almost look like chess pieces. I think that is a Tasmanian Devil Pez dispenser. Looks like we have some other little plastic trinkets in here. And just seashells and handprints. I'm gonna hold my camera up here. Hopefully you can get a, a look at that. It's like pieces of glass and sun catchers and other things like that. Just look at all this. Just look at the amount of detail and care just went into making this. And just so much uniqueness and character here. Like, I don't even, like, words can't really describe what we're looking at, you know? We have this opening. I don't think I can fit my body through that. Let's look at this, this face here. That is so cool. Let's move over to this side. We have almost like some sort of doll or gingerbread man. And just even at the base here, 
We have some more faces coming out. That's so cool. I just just look at that face. It almost reminds me of like an alien. And right next to it, these must have been like skateboard wheels or something like that. Just all these objects are just pressed into this, you know, just um, odds and ends, things that just look cool. We got circuit boards and what I what I'm assuming are chess pieces, but I could very well be wrong about that. And these faces, just so cool, so unique. We have more of these circuit boards. Just all this colored tile, glass bottles. And this is really cool. This is some sort of a robot looking character right here. And it's made out of circuit boards. Yeah, look at that. That hard drives. Look at this little little cat face right here. There's a, an actual sneaker up top there. And this right here, which is a, uh, a hose nozzle. And just like little faces, just popping out everywhere, handprints. Just, you know, it, it gives you a sense of the people who created this. You know, I know these were, were students here making this and, um, you know, props to you guys. If any of you folks out there who worked on this or watching this video, I just want to say um, thank you for leaving us with this. This is a really amazing piece of art. Very cool. Thank you for your hard work. Right here, um, we got Luke Skywalker, R2-D2. Let's go take a look at the inside of this arch right here. Up on top, you can kind of see the mesh. And the great stuff, I guess that's what this was constructed out of. But even that looks cool. And then over here we have cookie cutters. And I, I'm not sure what these actually are. But these little snake-like figures, they almost look like, uh, like humans. Or like the ghosts of humans or something. Something strange like that. We even have some, uh, some dinosaur cookie cutters. And let's just take a look. Look at this paint. Look at how cool this, the colors of this paint are. We got license plates, we got a, a turntable, and just more faces, more characters. Let's turn to this side. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like a skull right there. Just more of these handprints. It really puts the uh, the creator themselves into the artwork with these these handprints. I like that. All right. So there's more to see here. So we're gonna check that out next. And here we have a throne. Oh, this is so cool. Just look at this thing. Look at that king or queen wearing that crown right there. And these faces, they're a little spooky. Let's walk around, look at this thing from all sides. Almost looks like, like the sun. Looks like it's got, uh, you know, terracotta tiles and maybe some pieces of shale rock. Oh, and look at these seashells here. That's cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that snake. Look at all these faces. 
let's get in close on some of these faces. So much detail put into this stuff. It's just absolutely unique and cool. Look at this little ogre face down here. Got a gold face and spiral. And just even even here, here's another face and a, a heart. And more of these seashells. Just look at this. Oh, is that, is that a Chevy logo? <laughs> This is, this is amazing, really amazing stuff here. You know I had to sit in it. And here we have a tree, which looks like it's made out of um, pieces of concrete on rebar, held together with wire. Just all kinds of cool stuff hanging from it. Oh, there's like a little face in there. Let's look at that. And you can kind of see where some natural vines grew up through it. Kind of became a part of the artwork. This is pretty cool. This must have been an old calculator, something like that. Here we got a little weird dinosaur face. Almost looks like a salt shaker. And like I said before, this is a college campus. This is really neat. And what is this? Can't really tell what that is. And here we have some sort of pyramid. This is really impressive. Really large sculpture here. Must have been a lot of work just to, uh, you know, just put all this cement over top of, I guess, the frame. And again, just more ornate details, lots of little things. I just realized these are bottle caps. I've been seeing these all over. We have this, this eye here in the center of the pyramid, kind of ominous. Oh, and this is just beautiful. Look at this, this sort of tree-shaped mosaic with all these different colors and reflective pieces. Looks like we got a hubcap, a cat face. That's really beautiful. Oh, and it looks like this side is kind of um, not really holding up that well. And you can kind of see just how this thing is constructed. It's a wooden frame with a steel mesh over top of it and they put the mortar over top of it. And just doing that alone must have been a tremendous amount of work, but to also, you know, put all the artistic elements of it in it, a lot of hard work and creativity went into this. Really have to appreciate what these students did here. Really cool stuff, I, I love it. Here we have some, some bricks suspended by wire. It's a little odd, I'm not really sure what this is about, but let me, uh, let me play with it, but did anything happen? I don't know. And just on the ground all over the place here, you just see like little pieces and remnants of what had to have been art that either didn't hold up in the weather or was removed for whatever reason. Right here we have this little fire pit. Again, the mortar with, you know, objects embedded in it. Something, something embedded down there. Oh, is that a shoe? I think that's a shoe. 
here we got a, a tube of epoxy. Yeah, and back here, this looks like some art that didn't hold up over time. Because if you look at it, you can see some handprints in it. And this must have been some sort of art right here. Kind of hard to tell what this was. But you can see that there's little embellishments in this wire mesh here. It's a little face strung on that concrete cylinder. And we have this here, which is absolutely incredible. The only way I can really describe this is just being a, a god or an idol to a god. Like, look at this thing. Just how massive this is. It almost reminds me of uh, the thwomps from Mario Kart that would just, you know, drop on your cart and knock you out. But this is... This is just so cool. Just look at the eye. I'm just gonna stand next to it and give you an idea of just how large this thing is. Like, I'm a six foot tall man and these are where the eyes are and the rest of the face. It's huge. Let's make sure we get a good look at this from all sides because you know, they got cool stuff hidden on every little little piece of these cool pieces of artwork here. Uh, just look at all this. And another Ford hubcap. Oh, I like this face with the springs and the the O-rings and the lock. That's a that's a lock for a nose. How cool is that? This is just awesome. We have this column here, which has fallen over, which looks like it was another piece of artwork. You've got to find your own. All right. Yeah, and up here, look at this. That's really nice. Here we see a large collection of bottles held together with duct tape. I don't know if that was part of the original art installation here in 1999. It looks a little bit more recent. And right over here we have this guy who uh, looks like he's a little worn out, a little bit tired. Looks like somebody left a uh, baseball and some daffodils here on his head. And just look at this bent up piece of metal. That's really cool. So this was the Lehigh Millennium Folk Arch and Art Enclave in Lehigh University. Really unique and amazing place. Just so cool to see. There's nothing else out there like this right now. Now, if you are one of the people who helped create this place and happen to be watching this video, I just want to thank you personally for the hard work and vision you put into this place. And please leave a comment sharing us details of your experience. I'd love to hear more about this. And also, if anybody happens to know any places similar to this, I'd love to hear about them. Check them out myself. My name is Ray. My channel is Ray out there. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.